channel. So if you are new to my channel and have never seen me do a meal plan in a grocery haul, basically what I do is show you what I planned out for the week and then show you the groceries that I got. And I'm gonna remember this time, you guys. I so often forget like till halfway through to tell you where I get my groceries. I get my groceries mostly um, at Aldi. Sometimes I do Target and Walmart. Um, but today, all of this came from Aldi. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I planned out for the week. Okay, so for this week, I did four meals. And um, generally, I don't do like seven meals because we have leftovers or we go out to eat or we eat with family or something like that. So. To, um, this week I'm doing keto jambalaya, chicken enchiladas that are sour cream, and I probably will not be eating those just because um, I don't generally eat dairy and that sort of thing, so this will mainly be for the girls. And then spaghetti squash with red meat sauce, so basically spaghetti um, made with spaghetti squash. And then my own chicken cordon bleu recipe, and I actually have this posted on my Instagram in my memories. Um, but I may actually film it this week and, act, and put it on YouTube as well. So that's everything. And then on top of this, I realized that I'm getting Home Chef this week as well. So we're going to have a lot of leftovers and things and may trickle into next week. And I'm not sure. Sometimes I just do, you know, stretch everything out if I have too much stuff and try to make it work for two weeks, which I did get a lot of snacks today, so that might work. Okay, so here is the overview. <laughs> it seems like a lot, but um, we are in the midst of getting a snowstorm, so I got a pack of water in case for some reason we get power outage. And then I grabbed some cereal. The girls have really been liking this. It's kind of like Aldi's version of Captain Crunch. And I have actually had some myself, and I have to admit, it's pretty good. And then I got these like Cheez-It crackers and tortillas tortilla chips because I got a fresh salsa I'll show you guys um, and also the salsa I'll be using in the enchiladas and then I have tortillas in the freezer for the enchiladas as well so I didn't get those and then for snacks I got potato chips and then these veggie straws and pretzel sticks like these are like 85 cents at Walmart I mean at Aldi um, so definitely a really great deal and then if you guys remember um, a couple weeks ago actually it could have been over a month ago I had gotten one of these I really like something salty to snack on when I'm editing and this keeps me away from that stuff over there <laughs> so they're just blistered peanuts um, with sea salt and then this actually goes into the jambalaya and I got granola bars and cereal bars they're just quick easy snacks especially when we're going out the door um, I got their version of double stuffed Oreos I've talked about these before but they're really really good um, and then all these been carrying like knockoff versions of Girl Scout cookies and I'm not sure if these are actually one of them but they're in that same area and these were like 85 cents and um, just a yummy cookie this is one of my absolute favorite coffees and the last couple times I've went I keep forgetting to get it and um, so I had like grabbed some other kind of French vanilla at Walmart and it tasted really bad I really did not like it so back to my good old faithful um, I got coleslaw just to, as a side for lunches and things like that this week. I just make up my own sauce with stevia and mayo and that kind of thing. This is something I like to keep in the pantry. It's like 35 cents at Aldi. Um, it's probably something they have once a month if even, but it's nice to keep around, especially on days where I just need something quick and simple to go with like meatballs or something like that for lunch. Um, I grabbed these just to put into my eggs this week. This is for side salad. These were a really great deal. I think they were like $1.39 a pack. And the girls love strawberries. So we will definitely be eating those up this week. I needed garlic for the jambalaya. Grab this for my eggs as well, an avocado. And then this goes into the jambalaya. I actually already have shrimp in the freezer. So I'm going to be using that. And the secret, what I'm doing is I'm using a jambalaya recipe. That's a normal jambalaya recipe. It'll be on my Pinterest if you guys want to go check that out. But I'm um, adding, I'm getting rid of the rice. And I'm using cauliflower rice instead. Instead. So I'm really excited about that because I love jambalaya. It's so good. Um, just baby bell cheese. This is for in the enchiladas. 
And I grabbed this. I don't even know why I grabbed this. Probably just to have on hand in case we need more shredded cheese. I like to shred my own cheese. I don't like buying pre-shredded cheese. A lot of it has like flour tossed into it. And I feel like it just melts so much, melts so much nicer whenever I shred it myself. Um, I got some eggs. And I got um, just this for sandwiches along with Sweet Lovin' and Bologna. And um, this, I've talked about this before, but this is really, really good. The rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. And then these two things are actually for my chicken cordon bleu recipe that I was talking about, possibly filming this week, um, that is gluten-free and it's so, so good. And I got mayo, I got pickles. The girls have been on a major pickle kick. And then I grabbed these. I've gotten them before, I kind of forget about them, but they're just little single cups of hummus that you can dip like the carrots into or whatever. And the sour cream is for the enchiladas. And this is for the jambalaya. This will probably go as a side for the chicken cordon bleu carrots for just eating and then this was also going in the jambalaya and then probably into eggs or whatever else this week then this chicken half of it will go for the chicken cordon bleu recipe then the other half I'll probably do up in my um, pressure cooker and shred it up for the enchiladas and then I did grab these I two weeks ago I did a pork or a ribs in my pressure cooker and they turned out so good and then Aldi had these today they're actually already in a sauce the other ones I did I had done my own sauce so I'm anxious to try these they are seriously the best thing I think I've ever done in my pressure cooker and I haven't had it very long but I've been trying different things and ribs has been the best and I don't know if I mentioned this but this will be a side for the chicken cordon bleu and I probably I have bacon in the refrigerator so I'll probably do up bacon bits in that as well and then part of this will We'll go for the spaghetti squash which I already have the spaghetti squash um, and then I got this sauce I've gotten it before it's really really good it's an organic roasted garlic so I just fry up the burger I'll probably do half of it and then um, we just cook up spaghetti squash and eat it all with that and actually that's probably why I got the other block of cheese to shred over that um, and then the other half I'll probably just make into burgers for a lunch or something and then this is the fresh salsa I picked up it looks so so good I'm like really excited to try this and then I needed paprika for in the jambalaya and I got a gallon of white vinegar I was out of that That's something I like to keep on hand at all times grab some orange juice and then I know I've mentioned this before but I really like to keep a pizza in the freezer especially for like days like today where it's grocery shopping day and I maybe don't get everything get supper made so that's why I grabbed this and it was on sale so that is everything you guys I hope that gives you some inspiration and um, some ideas and also especially if you're eating keto as well and sometimes I do make meals that are not keto friendly or whatever and once in a while I'll just eat them and enjoy it or else I'll just make myself something different um, or eat leftovers of something that was keto friendly. Um, I am pretty much at my goal weight So I'm not as stressed out about being as strict as I've been over the last couple months um, And of course with a one two and three year old. I have tons of snacks. I need snacks at all times um, I think at one point in my life. I would have said no way, I, you know, I would give my kids all organic, whatever. But real life kicked in and budgeting kicked in. And they are like snackaholics. And even Hazley, she's down here. Even Hazley has learned the word snack. She needs a snack. So, um, yeah. So I got to keep stocked up on snacks at all times. But, you guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment below. Um, let's see. Give me give me a couple meal plan ideas. Give me some. I'm a little bit on a on a rut. Today was kind of hard to kind of figure out some things out of my head of what I wanted to make. So if you got any quick, easy, budget-friendly meal ideas, put them in the comments below and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go.